Hey everybody, welcome back to another business analysis video. In today's video, we'll be looking at the importance of effective communication in the BA role. Communication is key. If you don't have good communication skills, forget about it. Forget it. You can't become a business analyst. You can't do business analysis well. Okay. I'm not saying you can't become, but you wouldn't do it well. So you need to really, really work on your communication skills in order to become a great business analysis. So whether it's bridging the gap between the stakeholders and technical teams or translating complex data into actionable insights or for your project, effective communication can make or break a project success. So let's dive into how you can refine this essential skill set so that you can become a great business analyst. So the first thing you want to be able to do in order to have great um, communication skill is to understand your audience, understand the people that you're trying to communicate with. So as a BA, you encounter a diverse range of individuals, a diverse range of stakeholders with different perspectives from C-suite executives to software developers. So each of these group has its own language, has its own perspectives, has its own priorities. So your first task is to tailor your message to resonate with that audience once you've identified what that type of audience is. How do you do it? This means you have to distill technical jargons into business terms when speaking with stakeholders or conversely you want to translate those business needs into technical requirements for developers so you want to really really make sure you're using the right languages try not to use terms that the business don't understand try not to use terms that the technical people don't understand you want to be able to bridge that gap and the second thing that comes into communication is active listening because communication isn't just about just talking, it's equally about listening, right? Active listening involves that fully concentrating on the speaker, understanding their message, responding appropriately, and remembering what they said, remember what was said, right? Um, this will help build trust and it can also help to uncover any underlying issues that are not immediately apparent during your conversation with that person right now the third key of effective communication is clear and concise messaging clear and concise messaging in this world that there is so much information you want to get your point across quickly and unambiguously it's crucial for you to be able to get your point across so before any meeting or presentation you want to plan your key message so that you're able to get your point across you want to be unambiguous make sure that they understand what you mean and they don't just have assumptions of what you are expressing in your communication what do you want your audience to take away you want to ensure that every piece of communication is purposeful and to the point so the fourth aspect of effective communication is nonverbal communication. That is your body language, your eye contact, and even the way you use the space in the room can support or undermine your spoken word. So as BAs, cultivating a confident, open stance can really convey authority and approachability. You want to be approachable as well. Um, it will encourage others to engage with you more op openly. You want to have that right body language, eye contact, smile, don't appear unapproachable. It will help you to be able to convey the information that you want, to collect the information that you want from the stakeholders and just generally manage your communication. Now, the next key for communication is feedback mechanisms because as a BA part of your role is to collect and interpret feedback so you want to create environments where the feedback is welcomed and valued how do you do this it could be through regular meetings it could be through anonymous surveys or one to one session so these are techniques that we use in collaborating and communicating with with stakeholders who have these various perspectives. And also remember that feedback is a two-way street that can provide that critical insight uh, as well as opportunities for improvement, depending on what it is that you're talking about in your presentation, in your meetings, and the various communication avenues with, with these different stakeholders. Another aspect of 
effective communication is your documentation skills. Written communication is as vital as spoken communication. Whether it's drafting a project brief, compiling requirements documentation, or creating user stories, your written word is often what gets circulated. It's often what gets referenced and, and acted upon. So again, precision, clarity, attention to detail in your writing will really ensure that your documents effectively guide and inform the direction of the project, right? Informs what, if, what it is you're trying to convey in, in the document. Another aspect, I think this is number seven, I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm correct. But another aspect of effective communication is conflict resolution. Inevitably, conflicts will arise every time on various projects that you work. Why? Because we work with people that have different perspectives, different priorities. So a BA must be able to navigate these with tact and diplomacy, okay? Um, when tensions surface, you want to focus on the interest behind the positions that people take by finding a common ground, um, finding a win-win solution, which, which really involves understanding the motivations and constraints of each party with, within the people that you're communicating with. So you really, really want to understand the motivations of the communication, the motivations of the meetings, the priorities, the perspectives of each of the parties involved in, in that aspect. I always talk about continuous improvement, <laughs> continuous improvement. So if you've identified that your communication skill is not effective, these are the key areas that you need to really, really start to work on through continuous improvement because effective communication is a skill that benefits from that continuous working through it you can't just sit be quiet you're not going to be able to explore these various types of communication really whether it's verbal written body language type communication you want to seek feedback on your communication style attend workshops observe other great communicators there are so many great communicators on youtube see how they they talk watch ted talks see how they speak see how they hold themselves in in those type and practice practice with people will help you to work better when it comes to communicating communicating with stakeholders of different perspectives and different priorities so like any other skill the more you practice the better you become and you continuously hone on that skill. So in conclusion, really, for business analysts, effective communication is a dynamic and powerful tool that can lead to successful project outcomes, fostered relationships and career advancement. By mastering these communication skills, you can become a sort of catalyst for change um, and clarity in this our complex world really of business analysis because again communication is that key skill <laughs> key soft skill that we need as aspiring business analysts i've been going on for so long but thank you for watching today's video i hope you've liked today's content if you have please like subscribe and share this content you never know who it might help and as always i'll see you in my next one peace